I think we're going on a trip today. I want to take you behind the scenes and actually on stage of one of the biggest video conferences that happened this year. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? You see, I got a DM from Sean Kennel from Think Media. You know, they teach everything about YouTube, everything you need to know to grow it. So he DM'd me like, yo, I need you to talk about AI, how to edit videos with AI, how to create with AI, I need you there. I said, of course. So we are on our way to Vegas. You know, I'm not going anywhere without Isaiah. And while being there, I had met some amazing people. Now, you know, I'm not outside too often. That's just the introvert in me. I'm working on it, okay? I promise you, I'm working on it. Not really, but I'm working on it. Not really. But when I am outside, I meet some amazing people like the one and only Ruslan. If you don't know, you better subscribe to his channel. He has fire content. And we had a deep conversation about AI as well that I want to take you inside of. So in this video, I'm going to take you inside of Grow With Video Live. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes, but I'm also going to bring you on stage with my talk about AI and how to edit your videos with some of these great AI tools that are out there. After that, I want to take you inside of a conversation that me and Ruzan had about AI and how creatives should use it instead of being scared of it. So let's get right into it. Fire cut is uh, backed by an amazing creator. You may know him, Ali Abdal, right? And what this does for all my Premiere Pro people, this is a little advanced if you don't have Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro, is if you have multiple different camera angles, it edits it for you, right? So you put all your angles, I don't care if you have four, 17, whatever, right? It's going to pick you, it's going to pick your guests, it's going to pick the middle angle, go back and forth in a matter of minutes. It's gonna cut all those ums and mm and it's gonna cut those out. So you don't have to spend any type of hour. It's gonna put those amazing captions that we've been seeing trending all over the place. It's gonna do all that. That's just through AI. Now, how many of y'all been to the back and saw Opus clip and talked to them and everything like that? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna need y'all to do this after this one, right? Opus Clip is something that is so slept on and that I wish more people besides us would know about. Why? Here's, here's a few reasons. It will take our long form videos that we're all creating and turn them into vertical videos, square videos, horizontal videos. So if I need to be on YouTube Shorts, it's going to allow me to do that. If I need to create a carousel on Instagram and I want to add some videos to it, it's going to allow me to do that. If I need some more clips for, uh, for long form for my, for my YouTube channel, it's going to allow me to do that in a matter of minutes, right? And the, I just did a video on this on my YouTube channel. The bars that it picks is fire. I ain't going to hold you. You can try it out yourself. They're giving it away for free for a month. If you don't believe me, you can curse me out in my DMs. You feel me? This thing that they added is so dope though. Who are my super organized people? Like I need a content calendar. I want to be like y'all so bad, I swear to God. I swear I want to be like y'all so bad. I'm so spontaneous. So, for my people who are, who want to be organized? Yes. Then you would appreciate this. Okay, because everything that you create, then you could put it into a content calendar and you can see exactly what is about to be published. And the crazy thing is it actually publishes to every, day, every place that you need it to go. So if you need to go to YouTube, it'll do that. If you need to go to Instagram, it'll do that. If you need to go to TikTok, shout out to TikTok, we pray for you. Um, <laughs> it could do that. You might as well take advantage of it for a whole year. I'm just saying, this, this part, because I ain't gonna hold you. I did a video about them and I was like, I'm, remember I'm too New York to lie, right? And I was like, <sighs> It has potential. It's it has potential. I guess they heard me. They were like, "Bump your potential." <laughs> I'm, I'm we gonna show you, right? And talking about, I don't have it here. Talking about the AIB role, you give it a video, it adds AIB role to you. Yeah, and you could change it. Like I did, like yo, put a Puerto Rican uh, Puerto Rican uh, chick in a red car, and it did it and made it a video. I said. Yo, let's uh, let's cut out one of our editors, yo. I don't. I, don't... <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, this is reduce their salary or something. I don't know. So it does that, right? Now, what's really dope, super, super fire that's coming up with it is this thing called multi-modality, I think that's what, I suck at big words, okay? If y'all know, if y'all follow me, y'all know I suck at names and big words. Know my heart, okay? Now, what this does is it'll take all your videos and find the best parts and create a video from it. So what it did right here, and I'm gonna show you, is take all seven games of Cleveland versus uh, Golden State, right? And it find the most fire part. It read, the, it turned into tra transcript, it looked for the visual, conversation, audio, objects, and then it created this. Super fire, okay? Now, let me show you this. So I had a podcast, Nikki and Moose, right? Because you're like, okay, you showing me all the great things. Let me see it actually in action. So I used it. I'm not. I, I like to think I'm relatively structured. I know what I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Look at my calendar, no meetings. Like there was nothing on the calendar that day. And I said, man, the that, that uninterrupted work time and having to not worry about, oh, I have it but also not giving access to anyone to that time was something that I, that I had never really done before. So that was, that was something that I, I think moving forward, I'm gonna kind of continue to do, at least protect one afternoon. Part was fire, right? You saw the AI B-roll? I didn't do that. I promise you I didn't do that. I didn't pick no calendar. I don't even know where to find that thing. Okay, I don't know. So everybody get their phone out. Get y'all free month, I promise you. At least just try it. Just try it. If you don't like it, like I said, go in my DMs, curse me out. Okay? Be like, Nikki, this is trash. I'd be like, yo, preference. Feel me? Preference. Let's take it. Y'all good? Fair? Okay, my bad. I didn't mean to stop the video, but it'd be wrong of me if I didn't tell you about the AI toolkit. So I'm teaching you all this AI stuff, but you may want to know more. And so I'm going to take you through a 14 day challenge of where, how it turns your ideas into content with AI, with the AI toolkit. So on the screen, there's going to be a QR code, or you could just click the link in the description to join the AI toolkit. But I didn't want to stop this video too long. So let's get right back into the video. Grow with video live look fire, right? I told you, I told you. I didn't even mention in the beginning it had Dave Ramsey, Pat Flynn, Cody Sanchez, Charlene Johnson, of course, Sean, and the whole Think Media team was there. Shout out to them. It was just an amazing experience. But like I said, I had a great conversation to continue with what I talked about on stage with Ruslan about AI and like creatives, what they should think about it, how they should use it. I'm, I'm just... I'm gonna just take you inside of this hotel room because uh, the conversation was fire. There's also a lot of video editors that could benefit a lot yeah. through using some of these AI tools to take a 20 minute video, chop it down into a couple reels and a couple shorts. Yeah, with that second part, we need to repurpose. If we're creating these long form videos, the best thing to do is repurpose. With how these short form videos, YouTube shorts, reels, all that, they're like, yeah, you're, your repurposing is cute, but I'm gonna need you to add something extra. So this is where you'll go and you'll take what they repurpose. So I love using Opus Clip. So I'll take the video, I'll put it there. They'll chop it up about 15 different times. I'm not gonna like all of them, don't get it twisted. But the parts that I do, I'm gonna take that part. Then I'm going to add a GIF from, from Instagram reel section or on YouTube shorts, whatever kind of text. And I'm gonna add it there so it could feel like, oh, you're using my features. You're actually kind of creating natively, even though I know you uploaded it a bit, you're creating natively mm -hmm. inside of it. Mm. Okay, I'm leveraging AI to create it, but then I'm making it my own by adding whatever feature on the different platforms so they can see they like us. So we're gonna start pushing it. We're gonna start giving it reach because you actually use one of our features because whatever the platform is putting energy towards, that's what they give reach to. Mm. They seem to be getting better, like the ideas of these companies, they yeah. seem to be getting better pretty fast. Absolutely. And the way I'm looking at it is, it seems like they're getting rid of the busy work, the grunt yeah. work. Yeah. The, 
I gotta scrub through this video mm -hmm. and I gotta take out the air spaces yeah. and then I gotta clip it based on topics. It seems like they're kind of getting rid of that. Yeah. But you still have to be creative in how you use it because you're not just gonna, I mean, I guess you, somebody could somewhere potentially get a viral video off of just the AI generated yeah. short. But the more personal you make it, the more you leverage the tools inside of the mm -hmm. app that you're in, whether it's Instagram or YouTube mm -hmm. or who knows where we are with TikTok the more likely you are to actually succeed. Yeah. And again, another tool in your arsenal. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the power of authenticity plus AI. I told you the conversation was fire and I told you Grow With Video Live was super dope. Didn't you see all the behind the scenes and all the stuff? First off, let me know what you think about what I said on stage and what I talked about with Ruzon. Let me know that in the comments. Every single tool that I talked about also is in the description. All the links is there, I got you, but I don't want you to go just yet because I got another video that I want you to see. So go check that out. Yeah, I geeked out about AI today. That was fire. But when you think about the foundation it's just really showing up as you and showing up as you every single day. So grow with video live. Thank you. Think media. Thank you. Sean Cannell. Thank you. Everybody, I'm doing this for y'all.